Hello everyone, my name is Nilufar Mehrabi. I'm a master's student in artificial intelligence and data science in Istanbul Aydin University, Turkey. <clears throat> the title of uh, my presentation is uh, Age Estimation Based on Facial Image Using Hybrid Features and Particle Swarm Optimization. First, uh, there are a summary of uh, our works. Uh, introduction to age estimation, few processing steps, feature extraction and the future uh, vision fusion and uh, then feature selection and after that purpose method and results and finally conclusion. Introduction. Age estimation has numerous application in medicine, anthropology, security, commercial, military. Age estimation assists in narrowing the search possibilities uh, for uh, I identified deceased or living individuals for legal purposes. Age estimation helps determine the age of uh, perpetrators and uh, their subsequent penalty for criminal uh, liability, particularly in young people. Characteristics of uh, facial aging Aging is inescapable and unavoidable. Aging cannot be prevented or slowed down. Genetics and uh, external factors such as health, environmental condition, and uh, lifestyle um, influence the aging process. The obtained models have local time and uh, despite the uniqueness uh, of each individual's aging pattern, some common, uh, some common uh, variation and similarities in facial growth can be modeled. Peer processing steps. Peer processing should be performed prior to the local feature extraction in order to correcting pose and the scale lighting, uh, normalization, and converting to grayscale image. First step is uh, converting RGB to gray, and the second step is uh, rotation. In this step, the uh, angle of face uh, to the horizontal line uh, um, is computed by using the center of eyes, and it rotates to keep pose in uh, straight li lines. And the next uh, step is uh, face detection. We use Biologon's techniques uh, to uh, detect and uh, corrupt the face and uh, remove uh, the irrelevant uh, areas. Next step is uh, skin area. Uh, the more wrinkle a spot and uh, the texture of the skin appear uh, in uh, some areas such as forehead, corner of eyes or and the mouth. Uh, so it is better to corrupt this area uh, for improving uh, the performance of uh, age estimation process. As shown in the figure, uh, we chose uh, 11 areas uh, and uh, corrupt them uh, for uh, using uh, um, feature extraction. Feature extraction. Feature extraction and uh, we use the uh, local features to uh, extract uh, features uh, of face. Local features are significant to describe the wrinkle, spot, and texture of the skin. We use four different uh, features uh, such as LBP or local binary pattern, LPQ, local face uh, quantization, HOG uh, or histogram of oriented gradients, and finally uh, Gabor wavelengths. Uh, first feature is LBP. It is a simple yet very efficient texture descriptor that labels uh, the pixels of an image by thresholding the neighborhood of each pixel and considers the result as a binary number. As you can see, uh, each pixel compared uh, to the uh, center pixel. If uh, it is a bigger the center pixel, uh, then, uh, then uh, it will be 1 uh, and uh, if uh, uh, it, uh, it, it is a uh, smaller than center pixel, it uh, will be uh, zero. And then uh, we should uh, calculate the binary value. The next feature is uh, LPQ. Using as an image descriptor that is based on the blur invariance property in Fourier processing. It provides an histogram of uh, 256 codes in every scan area position. As a skin gets aged, the LPQ codes tend to have a more uniform distribution, with low histogram values due to the great diversity of face orientation caused specifically by wrinkles in many directions. And in this slide, uh, you can see a sample of LPQ code um, and uh, uh, its orientations. The next feature is HOG. It is employed to extract the magnitude and uh, the age uh, orientation of an image. 
ETH OG descriptor focuses on the structure or the shape of an object. And the technique counts occurrences of gradient orientation in localized portion of an image. And uh, the last feature is Gabor Wavelet. Facial wrinkle provide import, uh, important information for age estimation. So cover filter is used to extract wrinkle and texture characteristics. To extract su uh, such features and capture wrinkles, a set of cover wavelengths uh, with different scales and orientation was applied to the 11 uh, skin areas. And this slide uh, you can uh, see uh, two kinds of uh, cover filters. First, uh, it has the uh, five scales and eight orientations, and uh, on the other, uh, it has the uh, four scales and six orientations. Feature fusion. First, uh, normalization. Analyzing data is much easier when they are normalized, so we use the uh, z-score for normalization. In the statistics, the z-score is used to compare the mean of different data sets homogeneously distributed. In this equation, uh, X i um, represent the feature vector and the mu represent the mean and delta uh, indicates the standard deviation and the y uh, shows the uh, normalized feature vector. Feature fusion. The feature fusion is made up by the concatenation of the normalized feature vectors as follows. Uh, actually, uh, it combines different features to provide a complete feature vector. Uh, next part is feature selection. Uh, feature selection is the process of selecting a subset of uh, relevant features, and the purpose of feature selection is reducing memory consumption and decreasing the time complexity. Also, uh, it increases the chance of finding optimal solution and eliminates the redundant and re uh, irrelevant features. So uh, we use the PSO for uh, feature selection in our works. Uh, PSO inspired uh, from the nature, social behavior, and dynamic movement uh, with communication of insects, uh, birds, and fish. And it works uh, based on uh, creating a population of agents or particles uniformly distributed over X and evaluating each particle's position according to the objective function. And uh, if a particle's uh, current position is better than its previous uh, position, update it. And finally, determining uh, the best particles according to the particle's previous best position. Purpose method. And uh, in this slide, uh, it is uh, a framework of uh, the purpose method for age estimation. First, uh, input image, and after that, preprocessing. And uh, then uh, we choose the uh, 11 uh, areas and crop them. And after that, um, we should extract the features, local features, using LBP, LPQ, HOG, and Gabor Wavell. And then uh, we should uh, normalize uh, our data. And after that, uh, feature fusion. And uh, then uh, we should uh, we use uh, PSO for feature selection and uh, finding optimal features. And uh, after that, uh, we use a hierarchical classifier uh, for age estimation, um, and uh, we use uh, SVM for age group classification, and then uh, we estimate uh, the age of a person within the uh, age group. Evaluation metrics. We use uh, two metrics uh, for evaluation of works. Uh, first, MAE, or mean absolute error, and then accuracy. In a mean absolute error equation, um, A hat uh, represents the predicted age, and A uh, shows the um, real age, uh, and N is the um, total number of testing data. And in accuracy, uh, accuracy is equal uh, to number of correct uh, prediction divided to total number of predictions. Uh, experimental result. Uh, first, uh, data set. Um, we evaluate our works uh, using uh, two data sets, FGNet and Morph Album 2. FGNet data set uh, is a popular data set. Uh, the age range is uh, uh, between 0 to uh, 69, and the number of image is the 1002. And uh, the number of person is 82. Uh, Morph Album uh, 2 uh, 
Uh, the age range is uh, between uh, 60 to 77 and the number of image is uh, 55,000 and uh, 600 and the number of person is uh, 5,492. First, the uh, results of uh, FGNet data set. Firstly, our data are divided into four groups uh, and uh, A, B, C, D based uh, on uh, the age range. And then each group uh, is divided uh, to sub uh, group uh, called the training data and testing data based on 80% uh, for training data and 20% uh, uh, for testing data. And uh, as you can see in this table, uh, we use uh, different uh, um, feature combination and uh, evaluate our works uh, using each features and uh, the best result obtained uh, using LBP, LPQ, HOG, and Gabor. And the MAE uh, is uh, 3.34 uh, years and the accuracy is 75.69%. Uh, uh, for the LBP, LPQ, HOG, and Gabor. Results of morph data set. Similar to FGNet, uh, first uh, our data are divided into four groups, A, B, C, D, based on their age range, and uh, then each group uh, is divided into two subgroups, uh, training data and testing data. 80% of um, total data is uh, for training data, and 20% uh, of all data uh, is uh, for testing data. And uh, in this uh, table, uh, you can see uh, the best result obtained uh, using uh, the combination of uh, LVP, LPQ, HOG, and GABO. And the uh, MIE uh, is uh, 3.21 years, uh, and uh, the accuracy is 81.66%. And uh, for comparison, uh, we compare our, uh, our proposed method uh, uh, with uh, four different methods. And uh, as you can see in this table, uh, proposed method uh, performs uh, other methods uh, in uh, both uh, data sets. And um, it achieved uh, better results. And then conclusion. Uh, finally, uh, we propose a new framework for age estimation using local features and hierarchical classifier. And uh, we use a large number of feature extractors to enhance the performance of purpose method. And uh, um, also, uh, we use the PSO as a metaheuristic algorithm for feature selection. And uh, PSO eliminating, uh, eliminates uh, redundant and irrelevant features. And um, also, it um, uh, find the uh, most informative features. The purpose algorithm has demonstrated superior performance compared to previously purpose algorithms based on repeated analysis of two data sets. Thank you for your time and your consideration. Do you have any question? Thank you.